Ohio State putting Urban Meyer on administrative leave. And this is paid administrative leave. They did it yesterday. The school announced an investigation into uh, Courtney Smith's claim that uh, several people close to the coach knew of a 2015 allegation of domestic violence against her ex-husband, who is the former Ohio State football coach, uh, Zach Smith. He was fired back in July. Um, Courtney Smith told the college football reporter, Brett McMurphy, who's done a great job on this story, and she told him her allegations in a story posted on his Facebook page earlier on Wednesday, and then all of a sudden this story just took life. It exploded. Uh, She said all the coaches' wives knew... Uh, This according to uh, Smith telling McMurphy. They all did every single one. Uh, She also said that, uh, you know, when she told uh, Urban Meyer's wife about this, and uh, they had correspondence there. So Gene Smith is the athletic director, and I think he thought best to put Urban on paid administrative leave. He's done it before. We've been down this road before Jim Trestle got fired. He's on record as saying this is the first he heard of it was last night in a text message. So... It, it better be the first time he heard, because if it's not, then he loses his job. It's plain and simple. And Urban Meyer's contract extension, which he signed in April, includes language requiring him to report any violations by staff members of Ohio State's sexual misconduct policy to the university's athletics Title IX coordinator. Also, as an Ohio State employee who supervises others, Urban Meyer is required by the university's sexual misconduct policy to report knowledge of domestic abuse by a university employee. According to the policy, any uh, any individual need not be charged with or convicted of a criminal offense to be found responsible for domestic violence pursuant to this policy. So there's a lot of language here, and you're going to try to sort it out if you're Ohio State. And I believe with the season starting in a month, practice starting on Friday, you're going to want to be able to get as as much information as you can because you're going to have to – this doesn't go into the season. I would be surprised if it went into the regular season for Ohio State. But with Urban Meyer, paid administrative leave, and I want to know if there's emails, text, because that's going to come out. And Jim Tressel was taken down by an email. Not tattoos. He was brought down by an email. And I think that Urban Meyer could be headed towards that same fate. If, uh, you know, what, you know, Brett McMurphy's story points out, um, you know, the accuser saying this is what her ex-husband did, was guilty of, and that she's confiding in Urban Meyer's wife. And I'm going to assume if you're Urban Meyer's wife and she's telling you this, if that's how this played out, that you as Urban Meyer's wife would want to give your husband a heads up to say, you've got some, you got fire over here, not smoke, you got fire. Now you would think so. But I don't know if this is you get the benefit of the doubt with something like this. Not in today's culture, but I don't care how successful you are. If this comes to the, you know, the forefront here comes to light, Urban Meyer is going to lose his job. And keep in mind with Rick Pitino. Rick Pitino, they didn't have any evidence that proved that he knew what was going on with his recruits. It was vague, but it cost him his job. And as a state employee, state university, Urban Meyer knows he's staring down the barrel um, and he's in trouble. My gut feeling is he's coached his last game at Ohio State. That's just a gut feeling. Yeah, Paul. This isn't a poll question, but more a philosophical question. If you were Ohio State, would you get rid of Urban Meyer now to try to end this story, to try to appear to do the right thing? Or would you let due process take its course? Oh, you got to let due process because I, I can't get rid of him just to go, hey, look at us. And Let's wrap it up. But that's what people want. People, no, you can't. People don't do want that. due process. A you, lot of people don't want due process. I him. would think the people in Columbus would want due process with Urban Meyer. Outside of Columbus. Well, they don't worry about outside of Columbus. In Columbus, they don't care outside of Columbus. Right. This is their vacuum that they live in. And I'm sure that you got people who are standing behind Urban Meyer. And he's given you a lot of reasons to stand behind Urban Meyer. But I don't think you can go, hey, let's just wrap this stuff up. I mean, we've seen this before. You know, Penn State, you know, they back their guy. And, you know, they're, they're still trying to come out from the rubble. Uh, Michigan State, with what's happened there, you know, it, it's, it's very slippery slope when you do this. Now, the crimes, you know, that were committed at Penn State, Michigan State, were far more egregious than what is happening here. But this is a woman and her ex-husband, and he's on your staff. 
and when did you know, and what did you know? Yes, McLovin. You know what struck me when Trestle got fired is how fast the program came back to prominence. I feel like Ohio State, because they're Ohio State, could afford to fire Urban, and they'd be dominant pretty quickly. I mean, I feel like wouldn't coaches want that job badly? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Because you've got a team that's loaded again. They're one of the top five teams. You have that talent that's always coming through there. But I, I don't want to get too, uh, too far out in front of this here because Urban could still – Keep his job here. Maybe something comes to light, and then all of a sudden we said, oh, okay, you know, that wasn't true. But it just feels like there's a little bit more to this. Uh, and Brett McMurphy did a great job with this. Uh, he, he was one of those ESPN employees who was laid off, and then ESPN didn't even know how to sort of, I don't know, feature him. When he came on Scott Van Pelt last night, he was sort of, he's an independent reporter. But, you know, he had been let go, but still uh, still getting paid by ESPN. But he did a great job with his story to bring it to light. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.